It's actually pretty fun once you widen your horizons. Lovely scenery, just a really nice place to be. I wouldn't like to be starting it off with because I don't know, it's just better to out and see nature and things like that. There's just a lot more to it than, than you realise I guess. It's never been the same thing two days in a row, it's always been a new experience. Oh, it's been fantastic. Oh, it's a lot better than sitting in the house or being on the brews. I could do it for another three weeks. I could do it forever. Sit! Look back, Roy. Come by. Come by. Come by. It's my responsibility to look after 3,000 sheep and 200 head of cattle on a day-to-day -day basis. The hours are long, the weather's unkind, but they're equally balanced out by the rewards you can get out of the job. For every bad day, there's several good days. They should be able to think for themselves, the dogs. Like they sh if the sheep go to move away, the dog goes and stops them. I, don't need to, I shouldn't need to tell. It's Kevin, the sheep farmer, he was telling us whilst he was using the dogs to round up the sheep from the top of the hill, he was telling us about all the call signs, you know, like come by meant left, and how to test and how healthy a sheep is. The average age of farming is pushing 60, to be honest, and there's a massive gap for young people that are keen. Your whole life revolves round your animals. They don't take, they don't take time off. If there's something being done, you have to go and tend to them. This is a way of life and it will be what you make it and it's you can get as much out or as little out as you want. It's a massive opportunity for them. I love it, yep. There's a... Uh, you meet a lot, of, a lot of different kinds of people in the countryside, you know and uh, a, lot of, a lot of characters. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm learning something new. It's, I never... Well, you see it all the time, but you just never really pay attention to it. But it's hard work, but a good day. You can get about £200 a day. That sounds pretty interesting. What I've learned over the years is you've got to respect the countryside. And this is very important because you've got to leave it for the future. The future people that's going to be coming and working in the countryside. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad. Well, how are you doing it? Well, everything the farm does is just really surprised me. I didn't know all this stuff went on. There are so many different people involved and so many jobs and so many opportunities out there. OK, you might not be interested in one part of it, but that doesn't matter. There's so many other parts that you can do. If at first you think that you don't know anything about the countryside, don't be put off, go for it. The hydro scheme is a, an investment uh, done four years ago um, to hopefully uh, bring in capital into the company to uh, fund future projects. So what we do is we have to flow gauge the river for about a year to get the average water levels of the river. The shortcoming of the hydro scheme is that we've uh, gone from employing about 35 people four years ago and we're now employing about 105 people. I'm quite an outdoors person, I like mountaineering and stuff like that so it's good just to be outside just you know taking in the sights I guess and just working with your hands and you know there's so many opportunities that kind of work more than I actually realised so it's good to get a kind of a taste of everything. So we remember we need to keep the ecology of the river um, at, a, at, at an acceptable standard. My one piece of advice as a, an employer would be to keep making contact with us, um, asking to be shown round, show an interest in the estate, tell us about yourselves, show, tell us about your interests, tell us about your hobbies, and never stop trying to knock on doors. So we're Fraser C. Rob, based in Drummond. 
and we are a family run business and we sell, service and repair all different types of ground care products to domestic and commercial users. When we take on somebody, we don't necessarily always look for the experience. Sometimes if you have the right, the, the right attitude and have the enthusiasm and the drive and the determination to succeed in whatever you want to do, sometimes that can be better than having a lot of experience. Forward 12 gears backwards, okay? Control of your so Kyle started with us uh, ten, nearly 10 years ago, started off as an engineer um, and was just servicing lawnmowers as part of his apprenticeship over a 10 year period and he's been able to shape his future, his development to what he wants to do. The first thing you've got to think about is your safety. Right? So if that tree is going that way, you've got to go that way. So you've always got a way, it's called an escape route. So you'll take one cut, have a wee check, then another cut, and then I'll come round the back and take another cut. And if we're lucky, it'll fall right over. Life's great in the country. I started the estate as a basic forester, and from then on moved, uh, progressed through the company. Now I'm in charge of ground maintenance. There's a lot of things happening in the industry at the moment, which is a lot of opportunities for young lads. Even though they can, uh, they own, they run this land, they still require permission to cut down trees. And rule of thumb is, whenever you cut down a tree, it has to be replanted within five years. Awkward, but you just have to do what you can. So what you do is gather your roots together, stick it in the ground like that. And if you just gently push down, pull your spade out at the same time and just stamp round about it. To be doing a lot, to be doing 1500 plus a day takes, it's, there's a certain amount of fitness involved um, and it's all about technique as well. So there's opportunities to make quite a bit of money at it. You learn something new every day. It's important to have these type of chances. Just, just give you something else, give you another option. Well, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the whole week. It's been good experience, but I'd say the dry stone one was the, the best so far. Well, it was a good experience in that, the kind of trade to learn, so that was really good. You've got this double stone, you've got the hearting in the middle, it's all tightly packed, bonded well, two on one, one on two, as per the, the rules we talked about. And we're now going to put cover stones on. We take a cover and we basically fit it across the wall and we make sure it's stable and you would just push that into there, okay? I've enjoyed all the different parts of it, like the stone masonry. But we want to support the wider traditional skills. We have 54 apprentices working with Historic Scotland in various trades, predominantly stone masonry, but we also have joiners, plumbers, electricians, painters, gardeners working on our sites throughout Scotland. And we're very keen to support these and support the wider economy as well. I've really enjoyed working with working with my hands, using raw material, especially material which came from the ground like, and quarries and that local nearby, but it's been a real, real eye-opener eye for, for us. It is creative. It is nice to look at the legacy of what you've created. Um, people develop their own styles. It's wonderful. But the bottom line is you're there to make a living and you have to work hard and you have to be capable of being wet and cold or it's just not worth thinking about doing. <laughs> well, I've definitely discovered that people that live and work out here in the country, i.e. dry stone wallers, farmers, even chainsaw operators and things like that, I mean, there's so much that goes into even one job that it's unbelievable.